What's going on, everyone? So I talked about Zion Williamson losing weight in that picture that he posted and how great he looked. Uh, and we got reports that he has dropped uh, to 281, which is actually weighs less, four pounds less than he did when he was at Duke, which is huge um, for the Pelicans and going forward. And supposedly he wants to drop around uh, 274 range. So he's not done losing weight. He wants to lose about another seven to 10 pounds. Um, to kind of be able to help, obviously, with the wear and tear, injury history, things like that. Now, with this, there is this growing concern of, will this impact his game in a negative manner, right? Because one of the big factors in Zion and the way he just kind of dominates the game when he's on the court is he's just so big, physical, athletic, and imposing. Right? He essentially just bullies his way to the rim, and there's not really much you can do because everyone that's his size isn't quick enough, agile enough, and athletic enough. And everybody that's, you know, smaller, just they don't have the size and the strength to, to match up with him. So he's kind of been this mismatch where kind of questions, you know, how will he be able to adjust to this newfound weight, um, which personally I think is great for him. Obviously for his health, but also for the basketball court uh, and him being able to kind of maneuver and operate on the court, right? I also think that this will kind of open up different skill sets for him, right? And I think also, I think he still will be as dominant and imposing. I think he'll still be physical. I think he's still maintain that level of physicality, right? He's not going to be tiny, right? He's not going to be like 250, still going to be 270, 275. So he's still going to be a big boy out there banning with the big fellas, right? This, I just think, will make him a little more agile and be able to maneuver differently. And it'll allow him to kind of, I think, have more kind of versatility out there and more options rather than just, I need to put my head down and just bully my way in, right? He'll still be able to do that, but I also think he'll be able to be a little more crafty and move a little better out there on the basketball court. Now, also, another big thing is he has to be able to maintain that level of weight because we've seen Zion lose some, not like this significant, right? He hasn't lost this kind of weight, but we've seen his weight kind of fluctuate and maintain that fluctuation fluctuation there we go words are hard um but you know you you need to see him be able to stay around you know obviously a couple pounds here and there is not going to make a difference right say he does drop to 274 if he goes up to like 277 i think it's fine but if he goes from like 274 back up to you know 290 or something then yeah that's a big problem Right, like that now it's like, yeah, like you're you're just kind of starting from zero again. So he's gonna have to continue to work hard and continue to just develop and grow his body. But I do think that this is something that can go a long way, particularly for his health, which is you know, obviously been the biggest concern with him. Last year was the first year, in my opinion, and it was towards kind of the end of the season, um, where you saw that We've always seen Zion dominate, right? We've always seen him, I mean, from the jump, this guy was a an absolute monster. But particularly towards the end of the season, and in that, like, Lakers, uh, where they were trying to get into the play and all that stuff, like, like you saw Zion, ex you know, kind of ascend to unstoppable. And had that, like, I'm going to just win this game. And if he didn't get hurt, in all honesty, look, and I'm a Laker fan, Lakers might have been in trouble, right? Zion was single-handedly keeping the Pelicans in that game, and he was getting whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted. Lakers had no answer for him and just dominated that matchup. I mean, literally every possession, it was just Zion. Lakers knew it was coming, and they were helpless to stop it. And look, Zion's still only 24 years old. Zion still has a lot of potential, a lot of room, a lot of upside, a lot of growth. And this is a guy, I mean, last year was 23, 6, and 5. That's pretty good for anybody. And this is a 24-year-old that still has room to grow, can still kind of develop and come into his own. 
I mean, for for his career, the guy is a 25 point a game guy. He's 25. Uh, will be nice round up seven and four guy, right? Gets you some steals, gets you some blocks. He's an athletic freak of nature out there. And the dude is an absolute monster. But the most games he ever played, which was last season, was 70, right? Which, that's not bad. Not bad at all. But you need to see him consistently do that. Because you look at his career, he played 24 games year one, 61 games year two, didn't play at all in 2021, 2022, played 29 games in 2022, 2023. This hasn't really been the best start to a career for Zion, but he's still incredibly young and has a lot of potential to grow. And look, the Pelicans could be terrifying, right? Healthy Zion, skinny Zion, right? And if he can maintain his level of domination and maybe even kind of take it up a notch, because again, I think he will be more agile. I think he'll, you know, be a lot less winded. I think he'll have a little more pep in his step and a little more bounce, right? Because he won't be carrying all that weight with him. I think it's going to do wonders on his knees and his legs and his ankles and his feet and just everything. I think, you know, Zion could seriously take some strides next year, right? They just got DeJounte Murray, which they needed a playmaker desperately. They needed a real point guard desperately. And now they got it. CJ McCollum's still on the team. Brandon Ingram, we'll see how that works out, right? Because, one, do they end up trading Brandon Ingram before the season begins? Two, if they don't, is there a level of, like, toxicity, right? Does Brandon Ingram kind of become a distraction? Does he kind of really give full effort out there, right? Definitely a question. Obviously, he's going to be trying to play for a contract elsewhere, but, you know, not everyone is really, you know, hey, I'm going to play the best, I'm going to be the best version of myself, um, when they feel kind of slighted, right? So a lot of questions with Ingram. Plus, if you do trade Ingram, what are you getting back? Right? If you're just essentially trading Brandon Ingram for um, DeJounte Murray, right? Like, I think that they're better. I just don't think that they're that much better, right? But, you know, you get a, a again, you have a healthy, skinny, ready to dominate Zion. If Brandon Ingram's doing Brandon Ingram things, CJ McCollum. If he can still maintain and stay healthy, and then you add in DeJounte Murray, I still have concerns at the center position. That's a real problem, right? Like, who's playing center for the Pelicans? But, man, the Pelicans could be a force. Pelicans could be very tough this year. And this is a team that, look, they've had stretches the last few years where they've looked like one of the best teams in the league and have been the one seed and have been a legit playoff team, and people are great, and then Zion gets hurt, or Ingram gets hurt, or CJ McCollum is, and it's just, can this team stay healthy, right? Like, you look at this team on paper, front to back, you know, you look at, like, you know, Herb Jones, and Trey Murphy, and all these guys, I mean, they are stacked. They have versatile wings, they have size, they have switchability, they have defense, they have shooting, they have everything you could want. I mean, this is a team that year in and year out, we should be seriously talking about as a real contender. We should be having those conversations of like, are the Pelicans winning the championship this year, right? Are the Pelicans a top five team in the league this year? And we don't. Why? Because again, they've really underachieved. They've had moments, they've had stretches that that they've looked brilliant and looked great, but they've also incredibly underachieved. And that's the problem and the concern. Can the Pelicans finally break through? Can the Pelicans finally stay healthy and see? Because it's hard to really gauge what can the Pelicans be when, you know, your your two stars can't stay healthy, you know? And then now, yeah, you got DeJounte Murray, but again, if it's DeJounte Murray and CJ McCollum out there and Ingram and Zion are hurt all season, you're not really better, (laughs) right? You're not winning anything. You're not having that successful season. So... They do. They need the best version of Zion as possible. And I really hope that he takes that mentality he had in those last few games at the end of the season before he got hurt again and translates that this year. Because I loved that version of Zion. That give me the ball, get out of the way, I'm going to go win us this game and there's nothing that any of these people can do. I am the best player out here on this basketball court. I loved seeing that version of Zion. That's the version of Zion we need game in and game out, night in and night out. That just, I'm going to impose my will. I'm going to dictate this game. 
throw whoever you want at, at me. They ain't stopping me. Nothing. You guys can't do anything. I need that Zion. But I am. I'm very excited for this version of Zion. I'm really looking forward to this. And hopefully that, that stays this way. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Are you excited for this version of Zion? Um, do you think like, yeah, this version is going to be the best version of Zion? Do you have concerns that like, you know, hey, he's losing that weight, may end up being a different player. Is he going to still be as dominant? Right? Again, he's still a very big boy. Right? He's not, <laughs> he's not, you know, it's not like he's dropping a 220 or something like that. No, nah, he's still 270. He's still the size of most centers in this league, not height wise, but at least, you know, uh, weight wise. So he's still going to be able to throw that weight around. But I just, I just think, you know, him not being 300 pounds is going to go a long way for somebody that, you know, he's 6'6", six, six, right? 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, somewhere in that ballpark. So um, I think this is really good for him. But again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Helps me enjoy these types of videos. Truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.